Okay, so this is a guide for completing a build on a Q6 measurement on the NOR140. If you press button number 7, which is mode, this will take you to um, the various modes that are available. So you, we're currently in normal mode. If you press button number 4, this will take you to build and acoustics. Once you're in build and acoustics, you've got the survey method, which is sort of the 140 method, uh, the standard. And then you've got option 3, which is for the engineering. Uh, this is for 16 to 83. So if you tap number 3, this will take you into the airborne test. In here you can enter your details for the volume and the surface, so you can just type over the number here, or if you use the arrows and navigate over to C and press enter, then you can enter the uh, sort of the width and the length of that, um, and then it will calculate the, uh, the surface or the volume for you. To go back out of that menu you have to press the enter key, so normally when you're in the setups, um, you press enter and it, and it returns you back. So uh, before we go any further, let's go into setup. As I said, to come back out of the setup, you press the enter key. So setup, then you go to measurement duration, which is number two, and then just change this duration to whichever method that you're using. So um, yeah, I'm gonna use the six second uh, fixed point measurements. So you type in 06, you'll see there's an E at the bottom, which means press enter. So that will save that. And if you hit the enter key again, it will bring you back to the setup menu. In here, you can set the details for the noise generator, number three. So you can turn this on. So this is for your source and receiver room measurements. If you're using the signal cable to generate the speaker from, to generate the signal from the meter. There should be an equaliser function on your meter. Some meters don't have this as on the latest meters. To turn this on, you'd press the INC key, and then it gives you the option to adjust the equalisation of the speaker output. So when you press enter on adjust uh, equalisation, what will happen is the meter will start generating noise, pink noise to the speaker. The meter will uh, measure and analyse the um, output from the speaker and then it'll adjust the speaker output or the signal output um, so that the, uh, for the third octave, so it hopefully ach achieves a much linear uh, response from that signal to the speaker. Once it's done, it will just bring you back to the screen. So if you press the, yeah, I'll press the enter key now, so it's gonna run that. I'll see if I can plug in a speaker. So you can see it's now running, um, and all it'll be doing now is generating some signal. And to stop that, just press the stop key. So it'll just be for 10 seconds. And then that's now set in the meter. So I'm just going to go back down and turn that off. Okay, so to go back out of this menu, the noise generator, press the enter key. And that brings you back to the setter. Uh, to set the reverberation methods, just press button number four. And in here, you can set the type of noise. Um, so I'm using NOS, which means the signal is generated in the meter and it's sent down the signal cable to the speaker. Um, and it will measure the decay automatically. So it's trigger the speaker, fill the room with uh, sound, pink noise, and then it'll turn off speaker the meter knows this and then it'll measure the decay there are a few other options in here so you have if you go down to nos then press the ink key you can change this to the impulsive method so the impulsive method is for using the trigger for like a balloon or a gunshot and the ext method is for using your own sound source so you generate the signal yourself um, there'll be a threshold that's displayed in the uh, measurement window and the sound will need to be above that. And when the, you stop the signal, if you turn off the speaker, then the measurement will start and it'll measure the decay. So if we hit the enter key, then we can go back. I'll just set that back actually to the, to the one I wanted, which was... 
Um, number five, so press number five, this enables you to change the standard, so just press the ink or the deck key. Once you're happy with the standard, press the enter key to return and the enter key one more time and it brings you back to the measurement screen. Okay, so I'm going to run a quick test now. I'm going to start with L1, I'm going to start with my source stream. I'm going to run six measurements in speaker position A. So I'm going to press the start button. Then to average this, and uh, to save it, just press uh, enter. If you're unhappy with this measurement, press the exit key. Um, so press enter. And then I've got one measurement. And it's quite simple to repeat this, just press the start button again. And I'll just continue doing this. Okay, so for running your reverberation test, first you need to make sure that your settings are uh, correct for the signal generation. Probably should have done this already, but to go over this again, go into setup, go into number four, and here you need to set your excit excitation type. So if you're using your own signal generator and speaker, then set this to EXT. The meter will then wait for the um, signal, to fill the room with sound, Press the stop us, um, uh, turn off the speaker, and then it'll start measuring the RT. If you're using the signal generator in the meter, then you need to set it to NOS. It will generate the signal itself, send this, uh, the signal down the cable to the speaker, um, and it will turn off the speaker automatically and measure the decay. If you're using an impulsive method, so maybe a balloon, then uh, you need to set it to IMP. So I'm going to do this with the EXT type. Um, yeah, I mean, this is probably the one that's best to explain. So if you hit the enter key to go back, enter key again, have your mouse highlighted on T. Um, to start the measurement, just press the start key. So you can see right now it's waiting. What you have at the top is a, a threshold bar. Um, so yeah, you just need to be sure that you've got that set. So at the moment I've got no results. Um, so these flat lines are not good. It won't give you um, a correct DNTW if you've not got any results in here. So I'm not going to save that. I'm going to press the enter key and I'm going to start this again. So I've got my signal running. Now press the start key. So now you've got the signal generator. It's a bit levels of birth, the white line. So as soon as I press the stop key on the signal generator, it'll start measuring the decay. So now I'm going to run a background measurement. So I'm just going to go into setup. I'm going to change my measurement duration to 30 seconds so I get a good background. And I'm going to do two of those. Okay, so to, re to view the results, just go down to results, hit enter on there. Then you'll see the DW, the difference. If you press the function key, button number three, 
then you can switch to DNW and DNTW. If you press the Int key, this will push up the Fed Optive Spectrum, and then you can see the reference line there. Uh, so yeah, these are the results. Um, if you want to go back a screen, then press Enter and go down to Criteria, and then you can see the corrections here. If you press the Function key, it will change the functions at the top um, to DN and uh, DNT and so on. Hit the Enter key, you'll go back. So if you now just save this measurement as a build in the Q6 file, to do that, go up to Results and hit the Store Record key. Then at the top you have the date and reverse, uh, number 21, and then an S for save. So I'm just going to show you how to download this file, just to show you the engineering file that we've got so far. At the moment we haven't um, uh, linear average the two speaker positions, we need to do the speaker position B. But if you go to Connect, then go down to 0140, local SD card, and press OK. And then access the SD card. I've got it plugged in my, in my computer at the moment. I go to the date folder. You can see I've got all my individual measurements. So all my level measurements up to number 12. My reverberation measurements. My background me measurements. And my engineering airborne measurement. So this is the um, building acoustics file, which we're now going to load back in the moment once we've done our test again. So um, yeah, I'm going to stop this and put the SD card back in the meter. Okay, so now that you've run your full test from, well, for speaker position A, we need to run some measurements for speaker position B, just for your L1s and L2s. So you can do this now, or you could have done your L1 and L2s for speaker position B at the start if you wanted to. So anyway, if I go into number three, my room dimensions are still in here. So I now perform six L1s and six L2s, and that's all you need to do. And then you can see I've done six L1s and six L2s. Okay, so I've now got this data. Um, so now I've, I've done my speaker position B, I need to linear average the two measurement files, the two build and acoustic files. So you need to hit the store record key now just to save that measurement, and at the top of the meter it will now give you a file name which will be something like 1905-22-0022 uh, uh, with an S on the end. That's so you can recall that measurement later. Mode number seven. You could just delete these. Then go into mode number seven, number four, number three. Just so I've got a blank page. Okay, so this time I'm gonna recall my first measurement I did with you. So number 21B. see here this is my speaker position A. I've got all my results 6 uh, L1, 6 L2, 6 T, 6 LVs. I go down to results and hit the function key until I get my DNTW. There's my result 21. Hit the enter key to get back. Now to linear average the other speaker position all you need to do is to go up to L1, L2, T or LB, so on one of these fields, it doesn't matter which one, and you need to press the recall key. When you see the recall key, you now need to, uh, to call in your speaker position B. So this was file number 22, it's the one with just your L1s and your L2 measurements. So on number 22, you press the enter key, and then what you can see is the meter is now linear average the two speak positions. So it should say ND equals two, so that's your two positions. And then uh, you'll have an N equals six, so the reverberation. And all you need to do is go down to results. And then you'll have your DNTW. So you can see the value is slightly different, it's now 20. And that's how you linear average the results. Um, so if you hit the enter key, you can go back. You can now store this as a measurement. So if I hit the store record key, then you can see it now becomes measurement number 23. And I'll show you that now on the SD card. Okay, so I'm now back in NOR review. If I press the connect button, go to NOR 140, local SD card, press OK. Go into the meter, down to folder number 22. 
and then here you go you've got your uh, file number 23 it now says engineering airborne a plus b so i'm going to download that into my 1905-22 folder so if now i go into that folder i've then got the building acoustics file if i convert that to excel and double click that and then here we go we now have our l1s l2s so you can see you got speaker position two here speaker position two here and then you got your t and your lb all at the end there and then you can see my dntw is right here 